Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Is that her name? Yes, it is. I got it right. Yes. When the story begins, you are in Canada and there is this production of King Lear taking place and then one of the actors on stage collapses suddenly and dies of a heart attack. The day that that occurs is also the first day that this flu epidemic, they're calling it the Georgia flu because it originates from Georgia and Russia and that area, so that ends up coming over to North America and there ends up being this worldwide flu epidemic that kills off a significant portion of the population. It's one of those things where it just happens really quick. You show signs of being infected within a couple of hours of being exposed to it and then you die within like 48 hours. So it spreads really quickly and basically the world sort of falls apart after this point. But you're following all these different characters that all seem to be connected in some way to this first day. There is the actor who collapses on stage that's named Arthur. There is the paramedic who jumps on stage to try to save his life named Jeevan. There is this child actress who is part of the play named Kristen. And there are a lot of other characters that sort of are peripherally related and you kind of find out about their lives and their story pre and post epidemic and all of them seem to be connected in really weird ways. The story is not told in chronological order. You're sort of jumping around in time and you're also jumping around with perspectives and following different characters at different times and you're not even completely sure what exactly is happening until you're really far into this story which I absolutely adored. I love this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars and I'm just putting that out there in the beginning so you know how much I enjoyed this book. It was really interesting reading this book also while there is like a quote-unquote flu Ebola thing happening in the world. I roll my eyes while I say that because I don't want to call it an epidemic. Just with all the media sort of going crazy about it while also reading about a flu epidemic was just a really interesting experience to be having and just showing how crazy people can get at the signs of just like minor things and then reading about a real epidemic, well real in the sense of like this epidemic actually affected people and seeing what the outcomes were were really interesting. I feel like some people in the publishing world were calling this book kind of like science fiction-y because of some of the things that occur but I feel like this book is really just about these people and the choices that they were forced to make and the things that they were forced to experience both pre-epidemic and post-epidemic. There's a lot of situations where you're finding out about characters and you don't even realize that those characters are related or had experiences with each other until later on in the story which is something that I love. The writing in here is just so engrossing. I just did not want to put this book down. I had started this right before the Dewey's 24-hour readathon and then I finished it off during the readathon and it was such a perfect readathon book because I did not want to put this down and I was actually a little bit sad when it ended. There were scenes in here that almost made me cry because it was just so emotional seeing these people have to deal with such difficult situations. I feel like people have read so many sort of post-apocalyptic books and this kind of has to deal with that but at the same time it's not because you're seeing the world as it currently is then the world as like it falls apart and what they have to deal with afterwards. I feel like the way that the characters view just even simple things like how some people remember things like the internet and electricity and they're trying to explain it to people who were born post-epidemic and things like that where it was just really well done. It was so interesting. I just I have no words for for this book because I'm just so in love with it. It's one of those books that I love so much and I just want everyone to read it and I'm not really good about talking about it because it's just so good. It's so good. Just read it. Read it guys. Just read it. If you've been watching my reviews for a while you know that I'm not a big fan of like multiple perspective books because I feel like one, they're so overdone, and two, I feel like whenever there are multiple perspective books, there's always just a perspective that I wish the book had focused on more or had just been from, as opposed to all the different ones and having ones that I don't really cared about. But in this book, I cared about every single character. Whether I liked them or not, I was so intrigued by all of them, and I could not wait to read more about all of them. Like, anytime it switched perspectives, I wasn't disappointed because I wanted to read about everyone and I feel like that's so rare. I also just really love books like this because they always make me think about what I would do in these situations. Would I be able to survive? Probably not. But if I did happen to survive, like what would be the choices that I would make that would be the difficult choices? Or if I was put in this situation where I have choice A and choice B, which one would I choose and things like that and just understanding why people make the difficult choices that they end up making. Just Oh, it was so good. I loved it. 
I really am totally going to buy my own copy. If you can see by the sticker, this is a library copy. And I want my own copy now because this is so good and I want to push this book on to other people. And so I'm telling all of you, read this book. Get it from your library or get it from the bookstore. It's so good and so worth reading. So yeah, those are my not coherent at all thoughts on Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. If you've read this book, please leave a comment down below because I'd love to talk about this book with other people. Um, when I was reading this book, a lot of people commented saying that they'd read it and really enjoyed it like on Goodreads and things like that so definitely comment down below and talk to me about this book because oh, I loved it so much. So yeah that's all I have for now thanks for watching.